Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of September. This is for Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. Uh, if you are in a happily ever after relationship, you probably don't need a tarot reading. Just saying. I thought I'd get that out right at the beginning. I mean, if your life is great, and you're happy, and you're in love, then this reading is not for you. This reading is for people that are struggling. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Questioning it. Questioning it. Are you questioning it? Are you in a relationship and you're questioning it? Or are you in a relationship and you have somebody else that you're interested in and that's your true love? Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. There are some red flags, aren't there? Leo, September. You may think that somebody's your true love by the looks of this card. But are they really? I mean, if there's red flags, are they really your true love? Mmm. Look what just came out. A lesson. A major life lesson has been learned. Or it's about to be. This is the completion of one phase in the beginning of another one. A major life lesson has been learned. One cycle has ended. Maybe to open you up to true love. Mm, nine of coins reverse. I don't want to be alone. You could be receiving something. You're receiving something quickly. A new beginning. It could be a new offer. Mm. But make sure you're seeing things clearly. Because there's some red flags here. Is this what you deserve? There is some worry, there's some despair, there's some anxiety, there's some regrets. Now, nine and nine, right next to each other, nines are a signify it's a time to move on from something. Quickly. Now, this is now the basis of your whole reading, the nine of swords. You may be paranoid about ending up by yourself paranoid that you can't take care of things on your own needing to see things from a new perspective oh yikes so look at the swords one two three thoughts ego conflicts defeated You're trying to keep things harmonious amidst defeat. Oh my God. So something's ending. I mean, something is ending. And it probably hurts. All these swords hurt. They hurt. I don't want to be alone. This is a test. You are being tested. Are you paying attention to the red flags? Do you know what you're worth? Are you letting pride get in the way of happiness?
Somebody needs to open their eyes and wake up to a situation, and that's where the red flags lie. There's an opportunity for a partnership here. And I feel like it's probably after something ends. After a completion. I mean, these are completions. These are major. An ending. These are endings that bring a new beginning. Something is closing out. Quickly. And whoever you are dealing with has a big ego. And, you know, there's a lot of power struggles about what you deserve. Ooh, reluctant to move on. The swords, the thoughts, the ideas, the pain is friggin' real. Somebody is, has stayed in a situation that was very turbulent. I mean, the turbulent swords, I mean, this reading so far is prominently swords. And it is in regards to a partnership. Oh my God. You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual. Somebody that is an energy thief. Somebody that does not have your best interest at heart. And you think that they're your true love. Oh my God. Now, and that's a red flag, okay? All these swords. That's a freaking red flag. You're dealing with somebody that is lying and isn't telling you the truth. But you don't want to be alone. And you can't control destiny. You're going backwards. Clinging to control. Trying to keep things harmonious and balanced out when it's a fucking mess. Son of a bitch. Trying to control it. Trying to control the outcome. Even though it's causing you a lot of stress with this Nine of Swords. Take a look at her. Look at her. She's like, oh my God, please no more. Please no more. I can barely take any more. I can't take this anymore. But I don't want to be alone. <sighs> There's another opportunity waiting for you. And you know it. I think for some of you, you're ending one cycle because you've, you've probably ran into somebody new. Or there's an opportunity for somebody new. Or the person you were with has found somebody new. Here we have the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. Three of Cups is a third party situation. Somebody has a third party situation, whether it's the person you're with or it's you. And there's another opportunity for love. And somebody is not wanting this this new chapter, this new beginning, this this new phase of their life to start trying to stall it, trying to stop it, trying to put that wedge in between the new beginning. Because I don't want to be alone. But there's a new opportunity for love waiting. It's like another three of cups. There's a third party situation here. There is. Somebody's thinking about somebody else. Period. Somebody's thinking about somebody else. And, you know, you may have gotten yourself involved in a relationship on a rebound, okay, on a rebound. And now you're stuck. Now you've got feelings. Now your heart is involved and somebody else is still in love with the other person. 
That's what this looks like to me. Definitely th there's a third party here. There's no doubt whatsoever that there's a third party here. Three's a crowd. If somebody wasn't patient. They didn't wait for that right ship. They jumped into a relationship when they weren't healed from something else. Another nine. Now we have three nines. Closure. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. It's time to release. It's time to let go. It's time to give up. It's time to stop putting energy into something that is going nowhere. It's time to love yourself. It's time to follow your intuition. It's time to heal. Because wherever you're at, there's no growth. There's no rebirth. There's no abundance with the Empress reversed. I feel like, you know... The Empress reversed. The Empress upright is a woman who walks in purpose, okay? Reverse. There's, there's like, this woman is selfish and she's smothering and she chases people. And when, she, when you chase another person, you can bet your ass it ain't going to work out if you're a woman. It usually doesn't work out. So anyway, there's a, it's like, I, and again, I don't want to feel any pain either. I don't want to deal with the pain of, of letting go. Being taken advantage of, acting recklessly. I think that somebody got into a relationship off of a rebound, whether it was the person that you got into the relationship with, or they got in the relationship with you. Somebody wasn't. They were still in love with somebody else. That's what it looks like to me. And somebody's been putting in a lot of effort and a lot of work to make this partnership work, but there's no confidence in it. There's no growth in it. It's n there's no real opportunity I feel like you're dealing with somebody or it's you somebody in this dynamic has a self-image problem is aggressive and they're confused and they're indecisive about what what way to go you're dealing with some, and that's a red flag. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't know what they want. Maybe it's you. But somebody's being taken advantage of here because they don't know what they're worth. And it's time, it's time to be happy. So this is happiness. This is bliss. Putting in effort to be happy. But that something is unrealistic. Oh my goodness. It's unsatisfying. Son of a bitch. It's a one-sided situation. Somebody is working really hard to make it, everything work and to grow and to be happy. But the other person isn't putting in every, any effort. No matter what you do, no how much you water it, no matter how much you baby it, no matter how much effort you put in, nothing is happening. It's not changing. The fruit isn't isn't growing. Somebody's in love with the past. I know that's what this is. I'm positive. Somebody, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, is still stuck on the past. The memories of the past. That made them happy one time. Could have been with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whether it's you or the person that you're with. That was stable and secure. Somebody from the past. 
There is somebody from the past here. <laughs> I think it's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is, you know... This is an offer from this person. Or this or somebody is making an offer to this earth sign. Something solid, something stable. This person is solid, stable, loyal, disciplined. Oh my god. Okay. So there's definitely an earth sign in the mix, whether it's you that's dealing with this earth sign or the partner that you with that you're with. Somebody's true love is very stable, secure, grounded. Practical. And you need to be practical. You need to do the right thing. Somebody needs to act with integrity here. Somebody's in love with their past. But in 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 a relationship with the wrong one. He yeah lies manipulation they may be just involved or they were there's 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 uh, a capricorn but there's there's lies there's manipulation there's lust there's a strong bond whether it's you or the person you're dealing with somebody has a strong bond with somebody from the past it's unbreakable and it's affecting your relationship negatively not allowing you to move forward and there's a life lesson here, and it has to do with a rebound. I think there was a rebound relationship where somebody went right from one to the other without healing. You know, it was a vindictive act with this Queen of Swords. It was, that's what it was. It was vindictive. It was, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay you back right now by doing this. Yeah, yes, it was vindictive, and now the truth has come out. Somebody was trying to hurt somebody else by getting involved with you or, or you were or whatever. And now the truth has come out. There's a lot of lies here. And it, the whole thing might have just been re based on sex and vindictiveness. Trying to hurt somebody by the looks of things. Now it's like... fear of change indecisiveness now there's restrictions that are imposed because of this union somebody is maybe staying where they're at just because it's safe but there's not a lot of happiness here but trying to make it happy doing everything in their power to make it work but it's unrealistic there's no growth with the seven of pentacles reverse and the empress reverse there's no growth and it's unrealistic Somebody needs to come back to down to reality and be practical. Now, there could even be a loss of a child. Maybe there's an abortion or something with the three with the Empress Reverse. This could be a loss of a child or an abortion or giving up a baby or something like that. Because it's you know you have to be practical here. I don't know if that's practical to you. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't know. But this is being practical. All these 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 three right here are very practical, responsible. And I'm not condoning anything. I'm just telling you what I see, what came to my mouth, whatever came out. Um, somebody is staying in a situation that is, is safe but very unfulfilling and has no growth and thinking about their past a lot a real lot um, stuck could be dealing with a Pisces somebody is really really stuck hanging on to something needing to let go needing to stop sacrificing themselves for something that is so It's like wishy-washy. But this is, it's secure, right? It's secure. But this is the completion. 
This is the end of something that was or felt like it was secure. Needing to defend yourself in some way. I feel as though somebody has been hanging around, sacrificing themselves for something that was perhaps financially stable or secure in some way with all these pentacles. It was secure financially or something like that. But, you know, it was something to touch. It's tangible, but it wasn't love. It was somebody to have and to hold. But there was there was a, there was hurt here. There was lies, there was deception, there was some kind of conflict. And you may be receiving some undesirable news regarding this situation, which might make you might cause a fight. Maybe it will happen over money. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a fight over whatever anybody somebody's hanging on to. You know, somebody's hanging on to something and it hurts. Somebody's watching another person religiously. And it looks like there's an ending on the horizon. There's a death and, you know, what, what's death? Deaths are endings. So I feel as though there is a rebirth here coming down the pipeline. But something needs to end first, and it hurts. Somebody has to free themselves and look at things from a new perspective. I mean, we have new perspective twice. Somebody has to wake up and see things clearly. There is an ending on the horizon. Somebody's going to end up defending themselves, perhaps moving. Because they're dealing with a negative situation that has no real expansion. It's no, It's no longer exciting. I feel as though there's a... A release, a transition. Somebody could be getting cut out. You may cut somebody out of your life because some argument may come about because somebody's not letting go of their past. And somebody isn't following your intuition either and they're keeping some secrets too. You're dealing with somebody who's being secretive keeping it to themselves. Maybe it's you keeping it to yourself. Somebody's keeping some secrets here and you know it, but you don't want to believe it. Trying to, you know, work together, trying to, to put in a, as much effort as possible. But there is some secrets that are totally, totally undeniable, okay? There's no doubt. There's something going on behind the scenes here. You know it, but you don't want to believe it. And I think it's with your partner. And if it's not with your partner, it's with you. Somebody's keeping secrets. And they're stuck. They're stuck because they know it, but they don't want to believe it. And there's a, there's a, there's a release on the horizon. Because it's time for you to start a new phase. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to ex ex accept the truth. You're dealing with somebody that's not a good suitor. The page, uh, not a good um, candidate. There's red flags all over the place, obviously. Or that card wouldn't have came up. I think that your past is in love with somebody else. Yeah, there's a lot of conflicts here. You've got some competition. Oh, yeah, you do. And we got all these fives now. Well, I think we got all four of them. And I'm not sure. Three or four. Five, five, five. Power struggles. Life choices. Life changes. Instability. Let go of the old. Bring in the new. Expect the unexpected. Major life choices and major life changes with 555. Something is changing, and I think you're trying to fight it with that Wheel of Fortune reversed because you don't want to be alone. 
I don't, I'm thinking, I think somebody's thinking about walking away. Taking a lot of time to think about it. It's really heavily on their mind. These are both, you know, a lot of conflict, emotional. Somebody's thinking about going back to, as well. Think it, somebody's thinking about going back to the one they love. They don't know what to do. Right now, they're sitting in the middle. Do I go forward? Do I go back? Do I go forward? Do I go back? That's what you're dealing with here. Whether it's you or the other person. Somebody is in the middle of making a decision. Trying to stay balanced while they continue to think about it. There's a new offer. There's an offer of love here. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. There's an opportunity for, well, <laughs> this is so contradictory. This is wish fulfillment. This is wish fulfillment. One is upright. One is reversed. Somebody thinks that somebody is their true love. That's what this is. This is exactly what this is. But I think somebody else has another true love. But whatever. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that. But I'm sure that you don't want to hear it. Um, somebody has to wake up and, and accept the truth. This is the, the raw truth. Clarity is coming. It is. Clarity is coming. The truth will be revealed. Especially with the moon and the high priestess reversed. There are secrets that will be revealed. Or they have been revealed. Now, all three of these cards can represent a Pisces, okay? The, the moon, the high priestess, and the hangman. There's secrets here. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. I don't know. Or a water sign. You have all the signs here, so it really doesn't matter. But either way, I feel as though there is a... Your intuition is talking to you for one thing and you've been ignoring it. There's probably a new a new spark or a new um, emotional connection with somebody else. You probably um, may be receiving messages of love or your person may be receiving messages of love from somebody. Because, But there's no wish fulfillment here with this Nine of Cups reversed. I feel as though there is, with the star, there's, there's healing. Coming together. I don't want to go like this. Oh, yeah, somebody is trapped. Somebody is, is mentally trapped thinking that somebody is their true love. Oh my goodness. Oh. Refusing to see the truth. This is a time of ho it's there's there's hope, there's hope, there's inspiration. Obsessed. Somebody is obsessed that this is heaven sent. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Somebody really, really thinks that this is the secure, stable, the this is a gift from above. <laughs> Pay attention to the red flags. That's why this came out. And somebody's not listening to their intuition. Oh my goodness, it's a dead end situation. Oh God, somebody is involved in a situation that is unrealistic, and I'm sorry to tell you that this is a this is the death of an idea. I feel like somebody thinks that the one is the one, and the one isn't the one because the one that they, that they think is the one is in love with the other one. It's like I'm the fool. I'm the fool who's in love with the fool that's in love with you. 
That's the song, I'm the fool who's in love with the fool who's in love with you. That's what this is. That's what this is. And I don't know who sings that. It's a country song. A Patty Loveless, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, that's what this is. Somebody, you're dealing with somebody who's in love with somebody else. And you don't want to believe it. That's what I see. And I'm sorry. I am. It's not the kind of message I want to give. And you're getting messages. And, and you're, you, you see the red flags. You know what's going on. You do. Whoever you're dealing with is, is watching somebody else. They want somebody else. Sorry. Leo. So as far as the love for, for Leo, I feel as though we have to take this card right here. We're going to take those two. We're not going to look at the other ones. As far as Leo goes, I feel like you guys are... Wearing a mask of some sort. Oh, God. You may be in love with somebody else. That's your true love. Maybe you're involved with the wrong one. And maybe that's why you have these red flags. Somebody's not in love with the right one. You do know what I'm trying to say? There's somebody else. But they're staying because it's secure and they don't want to end up alone. Hmm. Transformation. We're going to read that card. Now, transformation is the death card, right? Endings bring new beginnings. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. A fresh new way of living emerges. I'm going to read this card. Just hold on. You are in a time of huge transformation. Old beliefs, ideas, and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life are dropping away. Replaced by incredible vitality and new pathways. Soon you'll be experiencing the world in a fresh new way. Yeah, there's a new beginning here, a new phase starting for you. But something's going to die first with the death card. I mean, and this is a death as well. I'm, whatever. Um, the journey transforms the traveler. Like I said, a, a lesson has been learned. The journey transforms the traveler. When the traveler arrives at the destination, the traveler is no longer the same person who started out. Even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life. That would be the Six of Swords reversed up here. Okay, whatever that is. Right here. That's murky. Oh. When the traveler arrives at the destination, the traveler is no longer the same person who started out. Even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life. Don't be concerned. This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. And that's what death is. It's a rebirth. Like the phoenix that arises majestically from the ashes, a big change in your life is at hand. Don't hold on to old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Be willing to see the world with fresh new eyes. Changes are afoot, and it's all so very good. Taurus got this as well. So you may be dealing with a Taurus, or your person may be dealing with a Taurus. I feel as though um, there's a death and a rebirth here. There is. The major lesson has been learned, and you guys are about to begin a whole new phase in life. But something's going away. It is. So that you can find your true love. Oh, 
but somebody is reluctant to move on. And they need to they need to love themselves first. Love yourself enough to put yourself first. Somebody needs to take the mask off. Step outside of their comfort zone and defend themselves because they're involved in a situation that is unrealistic. But there is hope for true love because underneath this is the star card. There is hope for true love. But getting involved in rebound relationships, not being patient to wait for the right one, will bring you life lessons. And I think that's what's happened here. But anyway, that's my own, that's what I feel. Many of you will reject this. And that, then the reading isn't for you. This reading is not for every single Leo. It's not. Talk to you later.